Be cautious with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Hey guys, it's so fresh Blade, and I'm bringing you Fight Night Champion. I know I've been gone a while. I've been, I haven't been making much videos, but I've been focusing on school. But I'm done now, so expect to see more exciting gameplay. And <laughs> what is that? Ammonia. That shit'll wake you right up. What he hit me with? <laughs> He's it. <laughs> Here's a penitentiary, son. That rep ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yep. And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. Fight Night Champion featuring the Hollywood story of young boxer named Andre Bishop showing his rise and fall to glory as as we see starting out I got a little experience with the controls but I played around a little before I started in the story room. This is actually my first time playing a Fight Night game. Last time I ever even seen a Fight Night game was when my older cousin was playing it on the PS2. As you start out, you want to get a feel for the controls. You get the option of using the buttons or the right stick for punching. I prefer the right stick. This is where you want to learn how to block and dodge punches at the beginning of the game as it comes crucial later on in the game. Counter, pun counter punching is essential, especially when you're trying to go for that knockout blow. As you see here, I anticipate him knock him right out. Boom! Good night. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Night night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. 
to get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! All right now, going four years earlier, before Andre Bishop has been thrown in the pen. All right, now we're being thrown into amateur boxing. We're at the middle of the amateur boxing championship. In amateur boxing, the judges score based on the number of punches landed. So don't get carried away, knocking out your opponent like I'm trying to do now. You'll see the result of my aggressiveness later. As you see there, my stamina goes down, so now he's got a chance to knock me out. So you gotta battle back and dodge, or you'll be put to sleep, just like the guy in the prison. See, I didn't watch myself there and let my stamina go down, so he has a chance to knock me out. When you're in these type of situations, you just gotta block and try to run away, but sometimes it's not an option, so you just gotta block and counter, punch your way out of it. I forgot to mention that you can clinch your opponent, but sometimes it doesn't work and you get rocked attempting to do it, so just try to dodge and get away. As you see right now, I'm just trying to run the clock. Alright now, try to land some punches, try not to... try to get a higher punch total than him before ending. See, trying to Good land a punch in. Time. Ooh, get a three punch combo in there. All right. Let me see what he's about to do. Well oh, get him with the counter punch. Bob and Weave. That's what they say. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations All is right. a key to victory tonight. Very nice work to the head. The All right, right now we're going to be heading into corner to see what the coach has one. to say. Good combination to the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Got to love the work by Andre Bishop. Teddy, I'll tell you what I like out of that round from Andre Bishop. It's a building block. He has a lot to look forward to the rest of this fight now. Yeah, it's confidence. It gives him a little momentum. And it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he could do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you that. Okay. Keep breath. Keep breath. Relax. Relax. We got it. Go out and get it. Go out and fight these guys. Take it to these guys. You have to go out and get it. You don't need that. Throw that, away. that was your round, Andre. You're winning this fight. You won that round. You gotta you fight got this to, round, baby. You gotta keep chopping, Dre. Keep chopping. I go right at him Bishop off the bat and he starts to curl up in his shell. Really got their fighter back to where but he needs to be while doing so, I get him with a nice haymaker. He's got to have a headache the after that one. So I go back at him and then I get him with a strong uppercut. Then I lean back and get him with a counterpunch haymaker. I know he felt that one. Try to go close to him and I come at him with some punches, but I get nothing but air. I go back and land some counterpunches. He's starting to clinch. Then he tries to be cheap and land a, and lands a punch just after clinching, but I block it and hit him with the Mike Tyson haymaker. Dazes him. I'm, he's getting ready to be knocked out, so I'm, I hunt for a knockout blow. But unfortunately, I'm late with my punches, so he recovers. We trade some blows, but he gets one punch up on me in the skirmish. Comes close to me. I hit him with the uppercut. He's in danger now. So, time to go back, try to go for a knockout blow. But unfortunately, um, I fail. So now, now I have to go back at him again. He's starting to back up. Oh, I bob and weave, get him with the counter punch. So I start to block some of his punches. Alright, looking for a spot. I land a punch, he lands a punch also. Stamina is low, so I gotta keep back. All right, I'm blocking majority of these punches. I'm good defense by me. He's trying to find a spot to fit a punch, but I, I don't let up my defense. 
He lands a punch down low in my stomach, so leave my salmon alone, so gotta watch out. Now into round number three. Alright, try to find punch, like can't find it. Remember, he was stunned in that He's last starting to block. He, he gets me. Well, tells me two things. I get a punch. Alright, now we're trading blows well, right now. Trading punches, he, he gets some, I get some. He, he clinches. Oh, he fits in some punches. Fuck some. Alright, now I, I land some. Alright, we trade a few blows Bishop. back up. Back, get some punches in, and land a strong haymaker. I swing at him and a miss. So, better recover right now. Looking for a punch. He punched me. Alright, heading into the one minute bar. A little tug of war. Oh, I get some punches. And I get rocked. I get rocked. So now I gotta get up. Get up within two seconds. Everything's alright. Shake my head. Alright, let's go. Let's get back into it. I'm not gonna let him get away with that. And we're neck and neck in terms of punch landing. So. Ooh, he hits me with a power jam right down the middle. And I go down for the second time in the match. It's gonna take me like two seconds to get up and three more seconds till he counts to five, five and seeds. I'm okay after a while, but I'm gonna go right at him with some power punches, which again costs, costs me. So I'm gonna back up, try to recover. But then he tries to rope a dope me against the ropes, but I block his punches and get out of that KO danger zone. That's why I say, and again, make sure you watch your stamina meter. If you stop moving, the stamina meter will fill up quickly, so get the distance away from him. So I'm going to try to fit in some punches for the next round. In most cases, he is going to be right next to you, and he's going to be swinging for the fences, so get your guard up. Here's where it comes into play. A it's a neck to neck battle between me and him. So I'm just gonna go for punches, then KO punches so I can score with the judges. Since he's leading right now. He's landing some good punches so far. Catches me in a bad spot and lands a good power good uppercut counter punch, putting me in danger, so I gotta bounce. But but I bounce back and he's increasing that count so I gotta get more aggressive with him so I can jump back and gain the lead again so now he knocks me down for a third time in the match and it takes six seconds to get him you don't want to you don't want to be in this position right now because when you get up a third time, it's a lot harder to get up, and it's a lot harder to balance the right stick. So since I'm down, I'm going to throw some jabs since he's not blocking those punches. So I keep up with my jabs. He's still not blocking them. But keep trying to put some jabs in run away. As we come down to the end, it's a neck to neck battle. I'm up by a few punches. Gets me with the nice punch. Knocks me down for the fourth time in the match. So now, it, right now, it's incredibly hard to get up for this fourth one. So we're counting out. He counts the ten, but but still says I'm okay. So I don't know. Somehow I get get away with it. He now he's got the lead. It's come down down to the wire. I gain the lead back. I'm gonna watch myself. All right. I come away with the win. I get out of there. Well, guys, see you next time with the uh, fight night champion.
is in control. And, uh, and he's a, the final bell of I'll leave you to the cutscene. And this truly is a fight that could go either way. You could make an argument either way. Well, let's see which way it went. Send it up to our ring announcer with the official decision. It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter. Yeah, game, baby. It's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop. I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being. Hey, Bishop brothers are in the house. Big baby Bishop. What? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions. Is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless. Both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. 